All right, I keep mentioning remote viewers because I'm placing them in a different category only because we think of them that way from psychics and mediums. I am going to discuss it again today because the year 2060 was viewed by some of the top remote viewers in the world. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll explain what it is and I'm going to tell you what they said about the year 2060 and why they chose that year in particular. I think you're going to really love this because I think we're going into a space that's so expansive right now that this is going to make real sense to you. You ready to go there? Let's go! Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. We're going to talk about remote viewing. First of all, let's talk about what that is. It's really a psychic phenomenon that we all tap into, have, but most of us don't believe it. Maybe we experience it and we don't explore it. Remote viewers are people that mostly don't have psychic abilities, supposedly, but develop them. Some are better at it than others. What's remote viewing? That's when you get a target that you have no idea what it is. So it could be a physical coordinate that you're given, and then you're supposed to envision what it is and draw it. And so they found missile bases and all kinds of stuff. It's been used by our government and probably still is, right? And then they've gone further into that and started to use their psychic abilities to actually shut down computers and all kinds of stuff. This is the power of your mind, not theirs. This is the power of all minds. And like anything, you might be a better artist than I am and, uh, or better at composing music or a better singer or whatever, or I might be a better writer. We all have diversification within the one energy field of which we are and share because it makes it fun. Because all those components allow us to bring them together to create one cohesive, amazing existence. But we don't do that. Instead, we battle and fight and say, you should be like me, you should think like me. And of course, we know what that's resulted in. Remote viewers have now decided, what if we could look into the future? Now, here's the problem with that. There are no problems, but let's just say, here's the challenge with that. Is the future in stone? Do you think so? If you do, then why don't you just sit around and eat bonbons and do whatever? And if whatever you believe that future is, all right, there it is. I don't believe it is. In fact, remote viewers agree with me that they're only just like a psychic or anybody else who claims to know the future, including Edgar Cayce and um, Nostradamus, have only viewed the split second that they were looking at it, what existed. And because we have free will and we can change our mind right now, I can change your mind with maybe explaining a few things to you that make sense for you, and then you make that choice. I cannot override your free will. I can only introduce things, and then all of a sudden, your entire future just changed. All of it, because you are not on the same path anymore, and that's how subtle it is, right? Remote viewers, so what if we see a coordinate, you know, and then we're supposed to say what it is? Well. What happened is when they started to project certain years in the future, I'll tell you one thing. This is a, a, you know, news at 10. I don't watch news. I don't know what time it comes on. They did not see a nuclear war. They didn't see a nuclear detonation of any kind across the board. So you can relax about that. But you know what's much more uh, evasive than that is the struggle uh, that we have with one another and what we do to our planet. All right, we can take ourselves down a lot quicker uh, beyond that, uh, you know, just by our behavior. So I want to talk about that because that is at the core of what I'm about to tell you in 2060. What they did see was different with remote viewers, and some of them saw nothing. 
Now, remote viewing is not an exact science. In fact, they have to do a, an accumulation of different remote viewing subjects, uh, responses, to come up with one that's remotely, no pun intended, remotely similar to one another, right? Oh, more of these are showing up than others. So it's not like they sit down and they just know it. It is really a moving target. So you might see things out there, hear about remote viewers and think that, oh, they know, they're getting it. And they'll tell you, they've been so wrong. In fact, the majority of them are never on target. In other words, they're, they're not coming up with the results accurately and that they're all over the board. So this is not an exact science, all right? Now, just like a psychic, what happens with remote viewers and psychics is your personal, your personal energy field, beliefs, and thoughts permeate that energy field that you're looking into the future with. That means you're changing it according to your own beliefs which means it could be completely different than somebody else because you come in really tainted with your own belief systems. What does that mean? That means that if you change your mind, you can change your own future, right? So if they come in and they predict a future based on the fact that they've got all this other personal stuff going on, you know, if they're negative or they have their own fears or whatever, and so they give a future that is not accurate, it's accurate for them. It doesn't have to be accurate for you. So 2060, they kept pushing out the years. 2045, they came up with big changes happening on the planet, and they, they aren't always sure what it is. They just know they're big changes, just like I can never be specific with you. I know when something's coming, but I don't always know what it is. You have this ability, you probably feel this all the time. If you envision something, you can actually change the results of whatever is happening. 2060 was a absolute big turning point for us. In fact, we live completely different lives. The United States still exists, but it is more small communities, which we're going into now, which is a very positive thing, because we get to express ourselves in smaller communities. The bigger that you get and you say, this is how everyone should think, this is how the rule for everyone, maybe the rules are this way here for the people who enjoy it that way, enjoy this way, provided that it is not a detriment to the whole. And that is where we're going. Now one thing that this remote viewer said is the ultimate bottom line message was that we must place the well-being of others first or else nothing will change. In other words, it kept coming back to one thing, that this target's going to keep moving until we become one unified, loving, compassionate energy field that uses the diversifications of our species, celebrates it, and works together to make it strong and powerful. Because if you are, you know, if you're a gardener and uh, you don't know how to build a house, well, the person who builds a house could help you, but may not garden. And through bringing all of these resources together, we create a new, beautiful world. And that's what we're meant to do here. Yet we're so busy fighting and struggling over what? So I ask you right now, if you are going into the space of the frustration of not just seeing what's going on out there, but contributing to it. Because when you envision that future, you change it. And that's what remote viewers do. So they absolutely admitted that their own personal energy fields, beliefs, and everything else was tainting that future. Now the thing is, is they knew what they were remote viewing. They knew that they were supposed to be remote viewing the future. So they already tainted it because now they had a preconceived idea personally of what that is. And so the viewer said that it's constantly changing, that free will is a moving target 
that it is something each of us gets to choose and that our future cannot be told or predicted by any one person. Now, if somebody sees something and it does come true, well, we, we chose it. They targeted and honed in on what they saw at that time. It can be changed, but many times it isn't because we haven't changed our thought patterns and the cause to create that effect. That's why it happens. It doesn't make them really great. And if they were wrong, they were bad at it. It just means we changed it. So when you go to other people for these answers, you really hand your power over. Nobody can ever take it away from you, but you can hand it over and believe that somebody has more abilities than you. So I always have, you know, I've gone through my life and I've shared this with you guys before. When people tell me no, I don't believe it. And I have done off the charts amazing things that blow people's minds. When everybody says no and they close the doors, I don't see a closed door. I see an open door. So I don't impose my free will on that on others. I know it's that or better I'll be led to something and then I don't accept that there's only one solution or answer to what it is I'm trying to achieve. I know there are endless answers to what I want to achieve. So my future doesn't have to go away because somebody said no over here. There's always another opening. There's always another door, another way that you can't even imagine. And this is where letting go comes in. And this is really powerful stuff. Are you ready to do that? Now, I have free videos. You guys know this. Um, if you subscribe, you can um, be notified when I have more of these coming out. We're going to learn more and more about how to, to really control that future. Yours, not mine. And then I have free videos called Manifest Anything. You will get a free mobile app in there called What Am I Manifesting? And you can set alarms all day long. And I pop in and I go, what are you thinking? You're manifesting that. And it's really that simple because when you catch yourself, you can shift into something completely different. But you got to catch yourself. So that mobile app might be just what you need. I also have a master class, one hour. It's free. So. Free stuff, including free videos here on how to create that life out there. I'm going to constantly give resources and create them for you to change your life. Because if you don't have anything to go to, how can you make those decisions? So I'm going to create solutions for you constantly. Ways to change your thinking. If you choose that and your beliefs shift into a completely different reality, ways to change how you make a living and earn money and, and start to love your life again. The more options I give you, the more I open doors for you, but only you can step through them just like anything in your life. And you're going to have to start making some tough decisions. If you're doing things that are just not good for you, you must be addicted to it because there is an amazing way to shift your mindset. And no, it doesn't go away. As long as you're a human being, you will experience the pain and the sorrow and the things that come along with being human. Really take that in. Take it in because it's not like anything that we experience when we transcend out of these bodies. And it's going to test you. But that's what you came here for, so don't mess this up. <laughs> Are you ready? So again, free videos. That's all business. Free online income uh, videos. How are we doing it? How, what are we learning? It's pretty cool. We're amazing uh, community. Um, free videos of mine and all kinds of cool stuff I offer over there. And of course, please subscribe. Share my videos all you want. I want to spread the word that you're powerful beyond your imagination. you got to quit questioning that because you're only holding yourself back. The power exists right now. You have jewels in your pockets. But if you walk around in tattered robes believing that's who and what you are, so it is. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. 2060. What is it? It is a beautiful future. And we must come to terms with the fact that if we don't pull together and serve the greater good of all that is, that future could look very different. We're in charge of it. You ready? Let's go. Namaste.